We're going to make note of our line pressure, which is 60 PSI, and our needle should stay pegged on the high side. Now, with all of my valves closed, A, B, and C, I'm going to open up test port number three, and I'm going to take those two lines and put them to a bucket or to a place where water is not going to go anywhere. I'm now going to open up shutoff valve number A on our test assembly and B, and we're going to bleed the air and water through A and B. We're going to close B. We're going to leave A open. We're going to make note of our line pressure, which is 60 PSI, and our needle should stay pegged on the high side. If this drops, shutoff valve number two is faulty. But let's close shutoff valve number one. The needle stays pegged there. We are now going to open B and watch our needle drop to 2 PSID. Let's open up test port number two and the needle should stay above 1 PSID. And it did. Shutoff valve number two is open. We are at 1.5 PSID, so check valve number one passed.